Hey, this is Anthony from TV. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Vapor Jacket, available at Revzil.com. New for 2014, this is the Vapor. It is a true four season jacket. You see Brian to my left wearing, oh, I'm sorry, Hive is Brian to my left, wearing the Vapor jacket in the black colorway. There are three colors. He's also wearing the Vapor pant. Really, it's positioned as a four season jacket for sport touring and commuting. So what it means is it has a great mix of functionality and it's gonna work well in a multitude of riding positions. But it also has a baked in Hydrotex waterproof breathable liner and you have a removable thermal liner, which is nice. So pulling that thermal out, Opening up your vents, six vent configuration, you're gonna get great summertime coverage, but then you lock everything down and you're gonna be great riding through the winter. I absolutely love the styling of this jacket. It comes in three colors. I will call out Revit that I wish you had a high-vis version available, but if we look at it, I see the silver version on a GS rider. I see this black version on a Ducati multi-strata rider. And then honestly, there are a lot of guys out there that just over that $400 mark that want a premium commuting jacket, regardless of what you're riding, could be rocking this to work, no problem. So we talked about the outer shell. We talked about the configuration for seasonality. I am going to call out one thing though. The main zips here that zip down, they're your main vents on the front. They actually have the aqua defense system and they vent directly to the body through the Hydra Tech shell. So again, that's how you get that four season out of it. You're getting direct body venting. Your other zips, your back zips, as well as your zips here on the arm are actually gonna vent to the line. are gonna be a little bit different. They're going to be indirect zips. And for a zipper that large on the side that doesn't have aqua defense, again, it would be really hard to keep it completely waterproof. That's why they made that choice. Now, when we look at it, you're gonna see a mixture of factors factors here and the protection level is going to be beefed up. You're using pro-life armor in the shoulders as well as the elbows and forearms. And again, you can always upgrade a Seasoft back protector to take it to that next level. But again, that's going to be a big step up over what we've seen from Knox from Revit. Now, quick note on sizing. High vis Brian, the visible one. Six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size large, spot on within the Revit fitment. And I'm going to call it a more of a sport cut here. I think it's a nice, Nice throwing back to the Revit I know and love, which does a more tailored European fit. Do I think it's not gonna fit the American market? Absolutely not. It should fit no problems as long as you're using the side chart, but it has a nice tailor to it, has a little bit of a sport articulation, great in the upright riding position, great in the three quarter. Again, when I say sport or sport touring, you have a lot of options to work with. Remember, it's over 40 bucks. We're gonna ship for free, no questions asked there. Make it easy if you're concerned about sizing. And if you wanna click right here, you can leave us your comments, your questions, your feedback on the Vapor or the Vapor Pants. Remember, the Vapor Pants have their own video. Revzilla TV, subscribe to us. You can even make comments, yell at Hive as Brian, he'll answer your questions. Now, moving back into the details of the jacket, let's start with the front and work our way down. I'm gonna start with my main materials here on the outer shell. It's a shoulder dobby complemented by a PowerShell Dobby. The Dobby is that texture, it's the style of weave. Again, it's gonna have between a 450 and a 500 denier to it. And the nice part is underneath the arm and on the sleeves, you're going to see a PowerShell stretch. The PowerShell stretch, again, same denier, same abrasion resistance, but allows you range of movement. Really nice touch, and you can see it adds some of these darts, some of these style lines here, the stitching, it pulls it all together. Moving up towards the collar, you have your spring-loaded snap that's on a five position adjuster. Here, Revit's been doing this for years, really nice touch. Notice our collar has a almost fleece or it's a very soft line, taffeta lined piece here at the Adam's apple and you could see that roll all the way around the neck. When you get into inclement weather, when you get into the winter time, you don't want a harder material, it's gonna chafe, especially if it gets wet. Moving down, reflective Revit logo, reflective darting, 3M Scotchlight along the chest. We've already talked about the main vent configuration down here along the sides where that's gonna give you the best chance to stay cool in the summertime. And notice you have your loops here for your Revit high-vis connector vest. It can be sold separately, it's an integrated piece. This will also take the Revit Challenger cooling vest which you can bake in on the inside. Now one of the other standout features here, and I'm sad I didn't mention it earlier, here on the Revit Vapor is the rail system. Brand new for 2014, this is the first time we're seeing it. It's truly an adjustability and tailor factor here that we've typically never seen on a men's jacket from Revit. So what we have here is these rails. You have it on the inside, you have it on the back side. And what it's gonna allow High Viz Brian to do, if he so chooses to do it, is to really move this and tune in where he's going to adjust down to make sure the armor stays in place. You have it here along the forearm, and you also have it here along the side, running down along this rail system. And when I turn him sideways, not yet, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. It's, again, part of the fine tuning of a piece of gear. If a gear fits you, piece of gear fits you properly, you buy two things. You buy focus, because you're not gonna be flopping around, you're not gonna be feeling the fatigue of an ill-fitting garment, and you actually buy protection, because everything stays where it's supposed to be when Hive is Brian goes scooting down the road. See, that's a bad visual, but I gave it to 
them anyway. Moving into my sleeve here, three position spring loaded snap at the bicep that's going to allow you to adjust it. And then if I zip this bad boy back up, again, these are YKK zips, premium zips. I'm going to zip it up. There we go. Got to line it up, zip it up here. You're going to see now I have the ability to go the other direction. There's my Velcro cuff. There's my gusset behind there that's going to, again, give me that waterproofing aspect or just tie it all together really nicely. Set it and forget it cuff there from Revit. Turn and face away from me. No more looking. If we look at the side, remember Pro-Life shoulder armor. It's more all-encompassing. It's more of a premium armor. You can see how the accents of color work in here. Remember, there is that silver version. And as you move down, you see the Dobby fabric. You go here into your elbow and then you move down into your armor, which again is fully all encompassing here, pro-life all the way down the forearm. Now if Hyvis Brian rips his arm up there, you're going to see reflective, or I'm sorry, stretch, the stretch power shell under the arms, and you're also going to see again that rail system along the back that allows you to tie it in. And you can see how that's done there, again giving the ability to tune it to your lat depending on how athletic of a build you are. Again, you can keep everything in the right place. And notice it turns back into Dobby down here at the bottom, you see that texture show up again. Turn the face backwards, Brian. Love the back on this jacket, it has just enough sport for my taste to really add some character to it. Notice our two back exhaust vents that are indirect, and we talked about indirect venting earlier, the Hydrotex liner. Remember, it's waterproof breathable. It's a built-in liner. These vents outside of the two VCS chest vents are going to allow air to come in. They're going to circulate around that liner, and they're going to evacuate it out from the back. Again, it's an evaporative cooling effect, less of a direct venting effect, but it's nice that they gave you those extra vents here on the back. Reflectivity at the engineered skin, the ES logo. Again, that's using panels to tune these jackets into different body types. And then again, you have your vents, and then moving up, Notice the collar here. Oh, you're doing a good job getting that hair out of the way there, Dutch. Notice you're going to see that you have that roll at the top. It's not going to chafe you. Now, notice this is more of a hip length jacket. It's waist to hip length. Again, a little bit better in the upright riding position, a little bit better in the three quarter. And you can see how it seamlessly ties in here with the black version of the Vapor Pants that Hive is Brian is wearing as well. Turn and face three quarter. I want to show the outside. Stop right there. Notice Revit logo. It's their tri design and you're going to have your reflectivity baked in behind it. Again, a lot of reflectivity here. And then come back to the front for me. There you go. Stop right there. And notice that collar stay, that loop back that you have. Now opening up the guts of the jacket, if we open it up, you're going to see Velcro. You have your rain gutter construction. Remember, the waterproof breathability is baked in here, so you need to keep all of the water away from this main connection zipper. That's what your rain gutter does. Big YKK zip on the way down with a, with a big pull on it to be found with your glove. Notice, quick and easy. And remember, that's a one-way zipper, not a two-way. If Hive is Brian opens it up, though, what we're going to see is our thermal liner on the inside. It's a snap. It is a zipper. It is fully quilted. There is a pocket built into it. Again, that's full sleeve. That's poly. That's going to get you into those winter riding months. And when you pull it out, you're going to see that there's a few other things going on here. Inside of the collar, red fleece, Traco lining. It's going to be very, very comfortable against your skin. Basic mesh lining, if you're wearing it over a t-shirt. Hot weather riding, if you've pulled your liners out. You need to be able to get that airflow through. The, the, the mesh is going to do a better job at that. No clearing of throats. Come on now. What are you doing to me today? And if we move all the way down here towards the bottom, you're going to see my pull to cinch it up of the waist and then notice on its own panel allowing for some stretch dual connection zippers 360 degree zip here that's going to attach to the vapor pant there's also an eight inch short connect zipper here as well from revit so outside of the hand warmer pockets as, as he zippers back up that i haven't talked about fully functioning four season hot weather cold weather multitude of riding styles multitude of colors you can make it more adventure when you go with that silver version you could stay more sport and sport touring here with the black version it's going to pick up a little less dirt but again a lot of options that'll even take that cooling vest within the revit line your options really in hydrotex under 500 bucks are going to the sand 2 which is much more hardcore adventure or you have something like the Outback, which is going to be a little bit more streamlined, a little bit less of an investment. The next step in your journey outside of watching the Vapor Pant video is to click right here, read other rider reviews on the Revit Vapor jacket at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we're going to ship for free if you're concerned about sizing. And keep in mind, if you want to call and talk to a gear geek, we're happy to walk you through it over the phone or via email. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.